Each week, EMTs respond to 911 calls and find patients who can be tough to transport, those who weigh more than 500 pounds. To help, Nashville's fire department have, has installed hydraulic stretchers into ambulances. And News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall found out how they help crews from getting hurt on the job. It's a story all new at 10. Yeah, Rory, a regular ambulance crew will respond to a 911 call and then radio for a special ambulance if needed. These new hydraulic stretchers will help eliminate that time. As America's obesity problem continues to grow, some patients are getting heavier for emergency workers to lift. Nashville now has a solution to our country's obesity problem, a hydraulic stretcher. So these new hydraulics are taking a lot of that pressure off and allowing us to just go ahead and push a button and it lifts that patient up and we push it right in and then gently puts them right down. The stretchers can lift up to 700 pounds and promises to reduce the number of EMS personnel getting hurt on the job. Traditionally, most of the injuries that occur to the EMS personnel are back injuries related to lifting. And we're hoping through time and the use of these new power load systems to decrease the number of times lost to back injuries and keep our crews safer. The number of obese children and adolescents in the U.S. rose to 124 million last year, more than 10 times higher than 40 years ago. It's not just overweight patients causing a strain. Nashville's booming population means a heavier volume of calls. You know, our, our call volume increases about 8 to 10 percent every year. We made 95,000 plus calls last year and anticipate that increase in this year. The overall goal? To decrease the wear and tear on personnel bodies so they can have a longer, safer career helping their community. So far, the department has 14 new hydraulic stretchers, each one costing $37,000. The chief tells me he hopes funding down the road will help install 14 more stretchers. In the newsroom tonight, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.